Hello, my name is John Kennedy. I'm headmaster here at Covington Latin School, and I'm proud and honored to join you for this school year. It's going to be a different time, but the administration team here and the faculty are so prepared. I was very, very impressed seeing the plans they have, the contingencies they have, and considering that nobody really knows what's happening, at least here we have some plans. One thing that we can do here is begin our year in prayer. So please pray with me. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, bless our community, lighten our anxieties, strengthen our hearts, open our minds, and let us be kind and selfless. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Good evening and welcome to the senior class orientation by video. Thanks for joining me tonight. I have a couple topics to talk to you about. There is a letter from me in the packet that Ms. Stone sent you, so please get that out and have it handy while I'm talking. They, I will be teaching the senior speech this year. There are three speech days where your child will have to dress professionally. And what I mean by professionally is suit or nice dress, pantyhose, all that stuff for those speeches. Part of our senior curriculum is to teach students how to do interviews because there will be a possibility of you guys interviewing for scholarships over the course of this year or even interviewing for colleges if you're trying to get in a specific program. So make sure that you look for something that you'll be able to wear to those events if you get invited for those interviews and then you can wear them on speech days as well. Be supportive of your senior. It's senior year. There's a lot going on, lots of classes, applying for college, lots of different events in their life. So be supportive and help out and encourage them. We don't want senioritis to kick in too soon. And if you're having troubles with that, come see me for some academic advice. Your online gradebook will be updated every Friday, but I want you, the seniors, to communicate with your teachers this year. So if you're struggling in a subject area or having trouble or you think a grade is input wrong, I want you to reach out to your teacher first, especially those of you that are in AP classes, which are college classes. It's a great habit for you to be in now with talking to them about things that are going on. You do have some big deadlines with your senior thesis, but stay on track so that you don't get overwhelmed. Your teachers give you a very good guidance of what's due when so that it doesn't get too hard on you. And an A on the first draft doesn't mean an A on the second, so make sure that you keep working on that senior thesis to get it nice and where you want it to be. Graduation requirements are listed in the packet as well. I'll be dealing with you in terms of your grades, your exams, your thesis. Retreat is one of those, which more details to come on retreat once the diocese makes some decisions. They, um, our retreat is already scheduled, but they're talking about not doing overnight retreats this year and instead just making them day retreats. So more details to come on that, but also your dress and tuxedo details will come in semester two. Keep your resume updated if you've lost yours from your freshman year in study skills when we did it. Remember that if you go to my website and click on resume, there's a sample that you can download and use and edit to make your own. For those of you that are taking dual credit classes through NKU or Thomas More, remember that your first two, if you are a resident of Kentucky, your first two semesters of one class are free. What you'll do is you'll pay the college and then they will reimburse you once they get the money from the state. And you'll need to follow a couple steps that I will email you once the state has you in their system. So be watching for important emails from me. You do have 11 days to drop or add a class. So if you feel like you signed up for the wrong one and you're feeling overwhelmed within those first 11 days, come talk to me right away so that we can make some changes for you to get you where you need to be. If you are invited to National Honor Society, you need to have honors for six quarters to be invited. Then remember that through National Honor Society, you need to have service hours. So again, getting creative with that, making sure that you're doing things like Making cards for veterans could be a creative way. Zooming while you're tutoring, because NHSers, I need you as tutors for these younger students this year. Um, and then a leadership project. I know we're going to have to get creative on some of these things, being that it is a COVID year, but I think that we can do it and still come through and get your resume top notch for those colleges. 
If you need any advice from me, please stop by my office. I know it's a big year for you. There's a lot going on, not just at school, but also in your personal lives and applying for colleges on top of your courses. So please stop by if you need to chat or if you need advice, I'm happy to help and you know where I'm located. Have a great senior year. Good evening, senior parents, and welcome to the Senior Parent Orientation. It's finally here, your senior parents. Your child is a senior, and you're a senior parent, so congratulations. I can't tell you how happy we are to be back in the building and have students here and learning occurring. It's been great. The seniors did a great job on Monday this week with, uh, with the orientation for the younger set. I was so proud of them. Uh, we talked about the lounge at the end of the day. I'd like to thank uh, the four student council officers who uh, I met with uh, over Zoom a number of times this summer to talk about uh, things. I wanted to pick their brain in, uh, brains about ideas. We have two lounges this year, four a day in each lounge. So uh, typically each senior is in a lounge twice a week and I think it's gonna work very well. Uh, and I know they'll make it work. I can count on them. As you know, we're in spirit wear through August. I asked them for no ripped jeans, so uh, check that as they go out the door. Um, every Thursday as well this year, the entire school year, will also be a spirit wear day. A change this year, as you know, if you've seen it in the paperwork, we're asking you to have your child out of the building by 3.30, pick up by 3.30. I know that's not always going to be possible. Weather permitting, probably about 3.30, we'll move them into the courtyard area. That's so we can get started on some heavy-duty cleaning. Uh, we need the kids out of the building for that. So I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and appreciate whatever you can do get your child out of the building by 3.30. As always, if, there, if your child's gonna be absent, we ask you to call, the build, call us, the 291-7044 number, by 8.30, so we're not looking for them. Some of your children are driving to school. I don't anticipate any problems. They can park in the front lot, they know this, by, the, uh, by Madison Avenue, the far end from the office. Uh, make sure they're leaving the house in plenty of time to get here on time. And again, I'm not anticipating any troubles. Uh, any paperwork you have, we've been emailing you a lot of paperwork. Get it printed out and send it to the office, please, with your signature. Uh, graduation announcements, I will be sending home with your senior uh, information from graduate services. There are people who handle graduation announcements and all that mailings. Typically, we order it in the fall, and you get it about February in plenty of time for graduation. Stay tuned with that. The senior mass uh, typically is in September at the beginning of the year. This is when they gather at the cathedral for a bishop's mass with all the seniors from all nine dioceses and high schools. That's been pushed back this year. God willing, we'll have one before the end of the school year. Uh, the baccalaureate mass... For graduation, graduation is May 22nd this year. It's a Saturday. We'll have a baccalaureate mass at 10 o'clock at the cathedral. Everyone is welcome to be there to honor and celebrate a mass uh, with your senior. Um, afterwards, we come back here to school and enjoy the luncheon. That is only for parents, step-parents, and the graduation. Please keep that in mind and plan accordingly. Graduation will occur that night, May 22nd again, at 7 o'clock at the cathedral. Typically, graduate parents, or soon-to-be graduate parents, sit in the transept of the cathedral, so that set of pews as soon as you enter from the side entrance. Um, we try to keep that to, um, to just parents and step-parents. Um, this year we've got a small class. We should be able to fit, you know, if grandma is, is there with you and she's got nobody else to sit with, it's fine to have grandma sit with you because of the small class. But if you're bringing an entourage, and I hope you are, uh, make sure they sit elsewhere. 
uh, Life Touch will be on hand to snap a photo of your graduate receiving uh, his or her diploma, shaking hands with the bishop. Uh, that keeps you from having a camera in front of your face and you can take it all in. They'll do a professional shot. More about that as we get closer. See your portraits. So the ladies in their, in their wrap that simulates the gown, gentlemen in a tuxedo shirt, tie, and jacket. That will occur tentatively on September 10th this year. We're not really sure how class photos are going to go this year. Uh, we're still waiting to hear from Life Touch on that, so stay tuned. On that day, whenever it occurs, girls should probably wear a, a tank top on that day so that uh, their shirt doesn't show underneath the, uh, I'll call it a wrap. It just looks like the top of a gown for the composite senior portraits. Prom is scheduled for May 8th at the zoo. You know, it, it, uh, it had to be canceled last year, God willing. We'll celebrate the end of the year with the juniors and seniors, and hopefully the seniors from last year, as many as can come, at the zoo this year. Looking over my list, I believe that's all I have for you. Anything going on in your child's life that impacts his or her performance here at school, if they're struggling with the pandemic, please let one of us know here. We want to do all we can to help your senior through this year if there's, if there's troubles. Uh, and of course, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Looking forward to a great year. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. For those of you I haven't met, I'm Erin Stone, the school counselor here. My office is located on the first floor in the academic suite across from admissions. If you ever have any questions or need anything, I have an open door policy. Please stop by, call, or email. My email is erin.stone at covingtonlatin.org. Before we get into the information I would like to share with you, I want to tell you how well your children did on Monday during orientation. They are a wonderful group of young adults. I am very proud of how well they handled the orientation day and adapted to the changes because of our current safety measures. The preps and freshmen had a great time, all because of the hard work of your children. I look forward to getting to know them better this year. The first topic is the CLS weekly emails. I will include a list of college representatives that will visit CLS virtually. I also will list open houses and college fairs in the area that you can attend if your child is interested in any of the schools represented at them. They are virtual college fairs scheduled for September, October, and November. The dates and website are listed in your packet, and this information will be listed on my website calendar as well. It is located under the important dates section. In the standardized testing section of my site, I have a link to all the ACT, SAT, and AP exam schedules. These dates will also be on the calendar. In your packet of information, there is an ACT order form for the optional diocesan ACT scheduled for the morning of October 6th. It is offered at a discounted rate of $35. Please turn this in to me with payment by August 21st. Also in your packet, there is an AP exam order form. If your son or daughter is taking AP classes, AP exams will be held in May here at CLS if they would like to take one. Please submit the form and remit payment by October 23rd. The cost is $94 per exam. The website is listed if you would like to look at all the exams offered. There are some classes not offered here that your child may qualify for. For example, if you speak Spanish at your home, your child may be eligible to take that exam. Please have your child talk to Ms. Tuis or me to determine if they should take an exam listed on the form, not listed on the form. There is a college planning timeline in your packet of information you received tonight. Please watch for application and scholarship deadlines from schools of interest to your son or daughter. Some schools require a separate application for these, and some automatically use the general application as an application for scholarships too. Please check each college's website for more information and important deadlines. Senior conferences will begin next week. All seniors will be seen. I emailed the senior questionnaire in the spring. 
that can be accessed from the Documents for Students section of my website. They have been told to complete this and turn it in to me before they can schedule their meeting. They need to schedule the meeting. If students need transcripts sent or a letter of recommendation, I have forms in my office or it can be ac accessed in Documents for Students section of my website. I must have a paper copy of the form. This is also included in your packet. Only filling out a request on Naviance is not following procedure. I use the forms to indicate when I mailed their requested documents or submitted them online to ensure they are sent on time. They need to fill the form out completely so I can be sure I am sending what is required by the school. There is a lot of information on the, re the request form, so please be sure they are filling out all the necessary components. If I need to send out the letters of recommendation with the application materials, they need to write who is writing them so I can make sure I'm able to get them from the teachers and include them with the letters I send. <clears throat> In addition to the senior questionnaire, there are a couple senior parent questionnaires. Yes, you have homework too. One is about recommendation letter information. This is a brag sheet about your child. Tell me all the wonderful things I need to know about your child as a student, as well as outside of school, so that I may write an amazing recommendation letter. This allows me to have another point of view so I can have a well-rounded understanding of your child. The other is about what type of college you think best suits the needs of your child. Sometimes parents and children have completely different ideas about what types of school their parents are willing to let them attend. These will be kept confidential. If you can fill these out, it will help me with writing recommendation letters and when I meet with your child. I kindly ask that you return those to me as soon as possible, please. If students are able to visit colleges in person, and this requires missing a day of school, there is a form they need to get from me. There are copies in my office and online, again under the Documents for Students section. They need to fill out the top portion and get your signature and then go to each teacher and have them sign their consent. The form must be turned into the office two days before the visit. Students get a total of two days to use for college visits. If your son or daughter plans to complete, compete athle, athletically at a Division I or II college or university, they need to go through the NCAA Clearinghouse. They can get information from me or you can go online. The website is listed in your packet. They should also go on to NAIA Eligibility Center for information. This site helps future student athletes discover and connect with NAIA schools. They can visit the website and it is also listed in your packet for more information. I will meet with seniors weekly during a scheduled guidance lesson. We are using Naviance again this year to explore interests, colleges, and careers. The site will also be used for recommendation letter requests, but remember a paper copy must be turned in also. The program is really user friendly and I think they're pretty comfortable using it now. As I am sure you are already aware, there are many mediums of social media that kids use these days. There's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and those are just the ones I know about. Please remember to be mindful of the dangers of social media. Students may make two accounts, one parents know about and one they do not. Create your own account and follow your kids or like their pages. Make them share their passwords with you. Many issues with kids at school begin with social media. Be vigilant, whatever works best for your family. Please, if you need anything, do not hesitate to call, email, or stop by. I want to be a resource for you, and if I don't know the answer, I will find out. If anything is going on in your child's life that may affect their day, please email me or call me and let me know. This can be a beloved pet having surgery, all the way to a family member passing away, and anything in between. I look forward to working with your ch child this school year, and thank you so much for your time. Welcome senior parents to uh, orientation. You know, I'm Mr. Ida Paolo, campus minister and theology teacher here at Covington Latin School. Looking forward to this year, just a few items uh, to note for the seniors. Um, first of all, the Christian service requirements. Uh, we are encouraging students um, to be thinking about ways that they can be uh, creative in completing their service, our requirement this year. 
And a reminder for seniors, 25 hours of Christian service. The uh, opportunities this year may be limited, so just a few uh, again, ideas to throw out and get the seniors to be thinking about and doing service. Uh, one idea, they could write thank you notes to nursing home residents. They could write thank you notes to grandparents, words of encouragement, things of that nature. Uh, secondly, there's a uh, plastic bag mat uh, uh, organization uh, ministry for the homeless. So they could make plastic bag mats for the homeless. Um, through St. Anthony Parish and Taylor Mill, and I can uh, give them more details that uh, once we begin the school year. And uh, another idea to make cord rosaries and donate them to local parishes and organizations. Um, so those are a few examples, again, and um, being creative this year with our Christian service requirements. And for seniors, uh, those would be due uh, before uh, Easter break, March 31st. The uh, Senior retreat uh, this year, as you know, is scheduled for sept September 21st through the 24th. And um, from the word I've received uh, via Ms. Tuis uh, from the diocese is that right now the retreat is on. Um, it'll be amended um, primarily just to uh, cover uh, daytime hours. Um, so as of right now, it's not going to be an overnight retreat, but still um, be that Monday through midday, Thursday of September 21st through the 24th and we'll certainly communicate more information as it becomes available. And um, just always uh, encourage students, if they're interested at all in becoming pontifical servers, um, let me know. You could always use uh, more servers. And um, senior year, certainly uh, welcome to do so uh, at this time, even if you haven't served before. So um, those are the uh, main points regarding uh, campus ministry this year, and I'll certainly um, Contact me if you have any questions, and I'll see the seniors in class very soon. Thank you very much. God bless. Hello. My name is Brian Sweeney, and I'm starting my second year here at Latin School as the athletic director. Athletics is a huge part of our student life. CLS is known as an academic school, but um, athletics are an important part of what we do. Not only is it an opportunity for physical and an emotional release, our athletics provide our students an opportunity to work in teams. A lot of our students have been successful as individuals, and being able to do the teamwork is an important element of the education here. Our sports are also teaching our students about fair play and good sportsmanship. According to the National Federation of High Schools, students that are active in interscholastic sports are, in general, better academic students. An informal survey of our staff here bears that out. We are a member of the Kentucky High School Athletic Association and we are bound by their bylaws and by their board of control. Uh, Mike Kleins is our superintendent of the entire diocese and he is a member of that board of control. In terms of a conference, we're in the Kentucky Christian Athletic Conference. As the athletic director, it's my role to be the gatekeeper to ensure that we're complying with the rules of the school, but also with the conference we're in and with the KHSAA. To play sports, students must be academically eligible, and I believe the Dean of Students has covered that adequately, but it's still worth reporting, uh, repeating that as much as we want uh, our kids to be able to participate in sports, sports are to augment or to add to our athletics, our academics, and not to supersede it. We currently have opportunities to get involved in soccer, golf, cross country, volleyball for girls, esports. E yeah, esports. It's um, I can't explain it, but it's real important to the kids. Um, we've also got opportunities in cheer, sideline cheer, not competitive cheer, basketball, swim and dive baseball, softball, track and field, and tennis. And uh, we are unique in that at CLS, sports are participatory. That means we have a no-cut policy. That does not mean that athletes will play every minute of every game, nor does it mean that they can come and go as they please. We want our athletes to have a willingness to learn and to be coachable and to make a commitment to the sport and to their teammates. All athletes must have a sports physical and must be cleared by a medical professional in order to play. 
Our sports forums can be found at the bottom of the athletics page on our website. It's under the student life section and there you'll find the form for the KHSA physical and also for St. E's and I guess I'll talk about that now. We will have athletic training services again this year from St. E's Sports Medicine. Our trainer is Ryan Ensweiler. That is a benefit to us. Some of our students get injured during sports. It's nice to have a, a sports athletic trainer on site or to have one come to the school to evaluate a student. It also can speed up medical appointments for those who need that. So we're excited to have Ryan again here. We are lucky to again offer impact concussion testing this year under the guidance of the University of Cincinnati. This is a simple computer assessment that will take 20 to 30 minutes uh, for your child to complete. What it provides to you as a parent and for your student is a cognitive baseline of normal functioning. Should a concussion occur, the student will undergo concussion protocol here at the school until they test again at a more normal baseline. This could mean allowances for classroom work, homework, limiting computer access, even wearing sunglasses in class if the concussion is causing light sensitivity. Every concussion is different and the long-term well-being of the athlete is, and student is important to us. We did experience several of these concussions during the school year last year in soccer and volleyball. We had a home accident a car accident, and even a vacation accident that led to a concussion. And I'm proud that our school was able to assist during these times. CLS sports are parent-driven, and I am so happy that parents have opportunities to get involved. I myself am a CLS parent that was a volunteer track coach and volunteer archery coach. Um, in fact, now I'm the chief archery coach. And it all started by taking an interest. We do have opportunities to coach, to serve as a team parent, help with transporting the practices, organizing senior night, or even helping with an end of season party. There's a lot of ways to get involved at CLS, be it through the APT or the boosters or directly with the athletics, and we know where the cool folks go, right? Keep that in mind. We strongly encourage you and your students to get involved with our sports life here. If you have any questions, I can be reached at the, at the school number, that's 859-291-7044, or at brian.sweeney at covingtonlatin.org. I look forward to working with you and your athlete this year. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to Latin School. We're looking forward to an exciting school year with you. I'm Christina Ralph, mom of Jack, uh, Prep 8, and Chris, a graduate of the class of 2019. The APT is the Association of Parents and Teachers, and we exist to help enhance the Latin School community through volunteering and fundraising. Each grade has a designated parent ambassador. The role of the ambassador is to be the touch point for parents of the grade. They will be the coordinator of events that their grade is in charge of sponsoring, and will be the organizer of parents for grade-specific volunteer needs. The parent ambassadors are for Prep 7, Colleen O'Connell, Prep 8, Stacy Guberman, Jen Neal, and Jen Jezanowski. For the freshmen, you can touch out or reach out to Becca Coppage. For the sophomores, it's Jenna Powers. Junior, Julie Hermes. And the seniors are still in need of a touch point uh, for them. If you're interested, please let me know. All parents are invited to attend the APT meetings. And this year, we will be hosting those on the last Thursday of every month. Right now, we will be hosting those via Zoom, so keep a uh, peek on your emails for uh, the link the week of that meeting. Some fundraising opportunities that we have are Coke Points, Box Tops, and Market Day. These are all the passive fundraisers that APT will sponsor to donate to Coke Rewards and to Box Tops. The links are in the attached paperwork. And for Market Day as well, you log into their website and register under the school name. Uh, lastly, we are still working on the details for our annual raffle. We expect that this will be in electronic format this year, so stay tuned for those uh, details to come. We will host only one active fundraising activity this year that we ask the kids to participate in, so stay tuned for those details. If you have any questions or concerns, please call me or text me or email me. Thank you.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. And for those who are new that are joining us this year, welcome to Latin School. My name is Amy Darple, and I am the Director of Advancement for Covington Latin School. Many of you I worked with upon entering Latin School, and I'm so excited that you're with us. So I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things tonight. One is with regards to communications. We have worked very hard to up our communications game. And what that means is, is we are operating on, on several different platforms. So we're very big into social media. We primarily operate off of Facebook. We have a very active Facebook page in which I encourage you to join. And we also have individual class pages that are private pages for you to interact with your child's class. If you're not into Facebook, no big deal. We have you covered in other ways. We have a GroupMe app that the APT runs, and I encourage you to get involved in that. That will give you a tremendous amount of parental support, and uh, if, you, if you need to know if it's an out of uniform day, if you need homework help, if you need to know if something is changing, or you know if you need, your child needs a ride home. It's an invaluable resource and I encourage you to download the GroupMe app. Your APT parent will invite you to that app. Please join that group. We also participate in Twitter and Instagram and those are gonna be more for, Twitter is gonna be more for community engagement and then Instagram is for the kids. They love it and we post a lot of pictures on the kid, about the kids on there and events that are happening. So I encourage you to get involved with that. The other thing we do is we are very active on our new web page. So there will be information and events that will be posted on there as well as our Google Calendar. There's three different calendars that you can download and upload into your Google Calendar and it's gonna be alumni, school, and sports. So I encourage you to do that because that will um, integrate right into your Google Calendar and you won't miss a step with that. And you'll also get weekly and monthly emails from the front office. Please remember to check those. Those are gonna have vast amounts of information, especially this year. So please pay attention to those emails that are coming from Leanne and Paula from the front office. There's some other things that I wanted to tell you about. Um, the biggest one is the grand event. And the grand event is our version of a gala. And every year we have this extraordinarily fun event in which all the families, alumni, past parents, faculty attend. This year it's gonna look a little bit different. We are going to have it as a virtual event. We postponed it in the spring and we're bringing it back in August, on August 22nd. I encourage you to get involved with that. It is our largest fundraiser and typically it's gonna help with scholarships and financial aid as well as general building in funds. But this year, in addition to that, um, it's going to go towards technology upgrades. So we really put a lot of work into our grand event to provide robotics and our new computer lab that we put in last year. Our robotics was funded through the grand event. This year we have a lot of items that are up for to buy it now for the teachers, for in, um, classroom um, things that they might need. So I encourage you to bid and buy it now and participate. When I say it's virtual, I mean we're actually gonna do it virtually. So you can join in and participate in some of the games that we're gonna have, such as Heads or Tails. You can buy a paddle and we're gonna flip a coin and you can do that in order to win some gift cards. Um, it's really fun, we'll do that via Zoom meeting and we'll do all of our raffle drawings via Facebook Live. So you can attend in the comfort of your own home. We've got party packs available, so you can buy a bottle of wine or a bottle of our CLS bourbon from our, one of our alum, donated by one of our alums. And you can have a whole little party pack with your um, raffle tickets and your drinks with the commemorative Latin School uh, cups that we've had made and also um, your heads or tails games. So those can be picked up the first week of school. 
But I wanna encourage you to log in. You've received plenty of information from me about it, but if you'd like to just check it out, their website is bidpal.net slash CLS Grand Event. I encourage you to sign up, follow along, play along with us on Facebook Live, join in. It's a lot of fun. And while it's not what we're used to, it's still gonna go to a very good cause. And we need your help more this year than others. So I hope you get involved with that. So I also wanted to mention that our Spirit Wear shop is open and we are open during the school day all day. We also will, um, are right now currently having a pop-up sale and I've sent that link to you guys as well. The deadline for that is August 23rd. So please get your orders in prior to that and then they will be delivered to school for pickup in September. And we will do these pop-up shops it, right before Christmas and again in the spring. So if you have any questions or need anything from me, I'm happy to help you. Um, I am a parent of an alum and I've been at Latin school for five years in addition to that. And you know me, I love this place and I am here to help you and do whatever I can um, to support you guys. So thank you so much for trusting us um, to educate your child. Looking forward to working with you this year.